One of the biggest challenges many travelers face is finding affordable airfare. In this video, I'll be breaking down how to find cheap flights and share with you some tips I've learned through the years that have saved me thousands on airfare. And make sure you stick around to the end where I'll break down three flight booking mistakes that are costing you money. Hey everybody, I'm Nick, and my wife Allie and I just wrapped up six months of full-time travel, which included something like 40 flights. I'll be honest, that trip would not have been possible without several of the tips I'm about to teach you. So let's dive in. My number one tip for finding cheap flights is altering your approach. And for most people, this will feel like they're doing what they would naturally do backwards. Here's what I mean. When most people search for flights, it goes like this. Okay, when can I take a vacation? Where do I wanna go? And then they go search for flights within those exact parameters. Don't punch me for saying this, but I'm here to tell you that the best way to find cheap flights is to search for cheap flights. So we're gonna take that exact process and go the other way around. First, search for cheap flights using the tips and tools that I'm about to show you. Then pick a destination based on what you're seeing and finally choose a date based on the optimal timing and pricing and whatever works best for your schedule. Okay, the next tip is to use Google Flights. You've probably heard of Google Flights, maybe you've even used it before, but all Google Flights is is a search engine for flights. It aggregates flight and pricing information across most airlines and gives you recommended itineraries based on your search parameters. Now, the basic way to use it is to plug in your departure and arrival airports, your dates, and hit search. You can also add a bunch of different filters such as airline alliance, price maximums, departure and arrival times, etc. Select the itinerary you like and then Google is going to give you the options of where to book. Remember, this is a search engine primarily, so don't think of it as a booking engine. One of my favorite features is the date grid, which shows you optimal pricing based on shifts in your departure or arrival dates. Once you've searched, just click date grid and Google will highlight in green the best priced days. This sort of feeds back into the mindset that we were talking about earlier. The more flexible you can be about when you travel, the more savings you could potentially rack up. Okay, let's take it a step further. Did you know you can search up to five different departure and arrival airports in Google Flights? So when I do a search in Google Flights, I will punch in a bunch of airports that are within kind of a two hour drive from me just to see if any of those are cheaper than my closest airport. But when it comes to those destination airports, let's say you're not an expert at geography or at flight routing. How do you know which extra airports to search? There are two really cool ways, and one of them is actually right here in Google. In Google Flights, click on the Explore tab. And then instead of plugging in a departure and an arrival airport, maybe plug in a departure airport and then sort of a broad area for arrival. So an example, instead of Chicago to Frankfurt, let's plug in Chicago to Europe. Then. Google is going to give you results of what it's gonna to cost to get to all of these different airports across Europe. Now, depending on how you're searching, this could actually be a very helpful way to decide where you want to go because it's quickly obvious where it's cheaper to get to. But it could also be a good way to figure out how to get across the pond cheaply. And then if you're still set on a particular destination, there are some very inexpensive options to get there. In many international destinations, and continental Europe is a perfect example of this, it is ridiculously cheap to get from one country to another. I can't tell you how many $20 Ryanair flights I've taken to get from country to country. Let's take it a step further. Okay, one of my favorite tools is called Flight Connections, which is a search engine that shows you all of the flights to or from a particular airport. So for example, let's put Frankfurt in the two box and hit enter. Now we can see all of the flights that go into Frankfurt. And if we click on any of the resulting 
airports. It'll even show you the airlines that fly that route and the dates that they fly. Between Google Flights, Google Explorer, and flight connections, you've got an insane amount of information at your fingertips. It just comes down to doing some searching and being flexible. There are also some really cool ways to have cheap flights come to you, which I'll explain in the next tip. Okay, the next tip is to use price alerts and cheap flight services. Let's start with Google Flights. If you found an itinerary that you like, you can simply click track prices in Google Flights and Google will send you email notifications of price changes to that itinerary. You can also use Hopper, which does essentially the same thing. And probably my favorite way to get cheap flight information is to sign up for email services like Scotch Cheap Flights or Fairdrop. Basically, these are email lists that notify you of flight deals and mistake fares to your preferred destinations. There are free and paid versions for both of these, and services like these have literally saved me thousands of dollars on international flights. I've got links to both below. Okay, let's talk about the 24-hour rule. When a great deal comes through, you need to be ready to pounce. But let's say you don't know if you can take off work yet or not. In the United States, there's a regulation called the 24 hour rule that essentially guarantees you could cancel your flight for a full refund if you've done it within a 24 hour window. This means if you see a great deal come through, you can book it on the spot and no questions asked, you could cancel it within 24 hours if that doesn't work for you. I have literally used this to my advantage a couple of times. Uh, one time I found a great deal and I booked it, but ended up finding out those dates didn't actually work for me. So I canceled within 24 hours and I got a full refund. Another time I booked a cheap flight and then the next day found a better deal. So I booked that one, canceled the first one and got a full refund. Now there are a couple of caveats to this 24 hour rule. So pay attention first, your flight has to be taking off more than seven days from the day of booking. And second, you want to make sure that you book the flight directly with the airline. If neither of those apply, you might run into some issues with the 24 hour rule. You may not get a full refund. Okay. My next tip is to book one ticket at a time. Believe it or not, it can actually be more expensive to book all the tickets in your party together versus separately. Airline pricing is dynamic and complicated, so this will be an oversimplification. But basically, airlines group ticket pricing into different tiers or buckets. And when you search for a flight and book, it tries to put everyone in your party in the same pricing bucket. So let's say you and your partner are planning a trip and you found a flight that you're interested in booking. Search for seats on that flight one at a time and see what price the airline is giving you back. Then if you search for both at the same time and the price the airline gives you is more than double what one was, you'll know that you are kind of straddling those two tiers and then you should book one seat at a time. This is a great way to save money and potentially get like the exact same seat on the airplane. Okay, as promised, here are three flight booking mistakes to watch out for. The first is to be careful when booking basic economy. Guys, there is nothing wrong with basic economy. I fly basic economy all the time, but it's important to know what's included and not included with a basic economy ticket. First of all, a checked bag is rarely going to be included with a basic economy ticket. If you're a carry on only traveler, that may not be a problem. Next, these seats are almost always basically non-refundable after that 24 hour window. So if any measure of flexibility is needed, think twice before you book basic economy. The second big mistake I see is not booking directly with the airline. You may find a great deal with Kayak or Priceline or any of those other online travel agencies, but it is just not worth it to book with anyone other than the airline. I can make a whole video on this, but in brief, it is very hard to change your booking. You won't get 
any of your elite benefits or perks, you probably won't earn airline miles and customer service is practically non-existent. Just take it from me and book directly with the airline. Okay, my last tip is to be careful with budget airlines. Now, I know I made a plug for Ryanair earlier, and don't get me wrong, there's a time and place for budget airlines. Ali and I live near a regional airport, and we get some great deals through carriers like Allegiant and Frontier. But just know what you're getting into when you book with a budget airline. Bags, seat selection, food and beverage, all that stuff is going to be an a la carte charge. Another big thing is just the size of the fleet and the network. On a budget carrier like that, if your flight is canceled, there's a good chance you're going to be waiting a long time for another flight. It's not like an American or a United where there's just tons of options all over the place. And another consideration is that sometimes these fly out of very small regional airports. So you might think you're taking a flight to London, but you're actually like an hour outside of London. So again, time and place for all of this stuff, just know what you're getting into. Thank you for watching and I really hope this video helped you. If you're interested in more travel tips or to just see some of Ali and I's travels, please subscribe to our channel. We also just dropped an awesome video on how to get through airport security with your liquids, which you can watch right here. See ya.